Let's face it, there's a good chance that your tap water likely stinks. 12 News has gotten complaints from all over the valley about it. And here's the problem with that. There's not much that your local water department can really do about it. So is it safe to drink? Team 12's Nico Santos is live in the Alert Center with what you need to know. Nico? Hey guys, we've gotten complaints about it, like you said, specifically from Mesa, Phoenix, Fountain Hills, Chandler, even Tempe. And they also happen to fall within SRP's service area. So we wanted to find out what's going on with that water and we're learning there really isn't much they can do except for wait. Have you noticed? Like a musty, earthy smell. The question easily sparked conversation on social media. People from all over the valley saying their water tastes or smells awful, but why? It's a algae type compound that comes out with surface water. Troy so Hayes, Assistant Water Services Director for the City of Phoenix says it's rain runoff and melted snow that ends up in the Salt River. There's higher levels than what we've no normally seen in the lakes. 12 News confirmed with SRP this year the bloom is way higher than normal. That's because the Salt River got almost double the amount of runoff it normally gets, breaking a six year below average streak. More water brings more organic matter, which means more fuel for the algae to grow. And while the water is treated to remove that algae, the stench remains. And it meets and exceeds all water quality standards that we have to achieve. Most cities have their own water departments. They get raw water from SRP and they treat it themselves with carbon, chlorine, fluoride. The algae is just overbearing this year, so we'll have to wait. It's naturally going to go away as the water, as the temperatures start to cool down. Meantime, try using your own filters, chilling the water, adding lemon, or buying bottled. But the tap is safe to use. Of course. All right, a rep from SRP says the company is going to start pooling water from the Verde River next week because it's less affected by that same algae growth. They're going to actually do a complete river swap from Salt River to Verde River by the end of next month. So you're going to start noticing an improvement, hopefully, in the next coming weeks. Nico Santos, 12 News.